Dream has destroyed the discs on the Dream SMP. So let's take a look at everything that happened in this stream. The stream starts off with Wilbur saying, Tommy. Both him and Tommy are at the docks talking about why Fundy had killed himself in the previous Wilbur Law stream. This was during whilst Wilbur was going around and apologising to many different members on the SMP, and Wilbur just doesn't know why it happened. Tommy tries to cheer Wilbur up, but no matter what he does, Wilbur keeps on talking about Fundy. Tommy then goes on to ask Wilbur if he remembers who Ghostbutt is, and Wilbur responds with saying that they're not the same person, but they just look alike. Tommy tells Wilbur the things that Ghostbutt had done, and Wilbur mentions how he remembers being on a holiday on a beach, but Tommy doesn't understand or remember that. He goes on to explain that there was a place called Loxtedshire there, and Tommy is really confused as to why this was classified as a holiday in Wilbur's head. Wilbur goes on to say that Tommy wasn't happy that Dream was there, and Tommy says that this wasn't a holiday, this was his exiling. Tommy seems super uncomfortable and doesn't want to talk about his exile anymore after the things that Dream had done to him, as Wilbur goes on to say to Tommy that it's important to cope with the things he's faced, and facing fears may help him. He asks Tommy if he's ever been back to where he was exiled, and Tommy says he's been a few times, and sometimes it's okay, but sometimes it's really bad and he gets all the bad memories again. So Wilbur and Tommy head towards Loxtedshire to help Tommy face his fears. Tommy does have a safe word so that if things get too overwhelming for him, then they all leave immediately and not stress him out. They get in a boat and head across the ocean towards Loxtedshire. Once they arrive, Tommy says that Wilbur should go around everything that is there and see if he can remember what had actually happened. They start off with the party area, saying that people came and they had a great time, but Tommy corrects him and says that no one had came and he had a terrible time. They go over to the bedrock that Drista had placed, his phone, his Christmas tree, and then his old base that got blown up. As they talk more about the things that Wilbur does remember, Tommy says that he feels good talking about it all, and goes on to tell Wilbur that Dream had came every day to take away any progress that he had at that time. Every slight bit of progress that Tommy would have, with the hopes to leave this island, would be stripped away from him, leading to Tommy feeling broken. And as they talk more about this, Wilbur's screen turns black and then appears in the prison with Dream in the main cell. Wilbur is thanking Dream for reviving him and as the prison alarm goes off, Wilbur tells Dream that Tommy had told him everything about the exile in Logstadshire, in which Dream responds with saying that those were fun times. Which leads to Wilbur taking out TNT, blowing up the blocks in the prison and killing Dream over and over again, until the screen turns black again and he's back with Tommy in Loxtedshire. Wilbur explains to Tommy that he wants to go to the prison to see Dream as that's what he's just seen in this sort of hallucination. And Tommy responds with saying that Dream isn't in prison anymore. He can't be found. He's nowhere that anybody knows. But Wilbur really wants to find Dream and he just wants to talk to him. And as they talk more about things like Dream leaving Tommy a disc in his house, Wilbur says that they can use the discs, the real two discs that Tommy has, to lure Dream out. And if they use the prison, they can sound off the alarm, which will get his attention. But Tommy thinks there's a problem. This alarm is very complicated to turn on, and Tommy doesn't really know how to do it, and Wilbur can't do this all alone. So Wilbur goes on to make a plan where both of them go into the prison, Tommy attempts to set off the alarm, and then he proceeds to leave so that Wilbur can talk to Dream alone. Tommy asks Wilbur if he really needs this. Will this help him with what happened with Fundy? And Wilbur says that he's had enough of people getting hurt and killing themselves over things he set off. He says that Tommy still owning these discs gives Dream a sort of reason and something to try and get these discs so that he can get power over Tommy. The fact these discs even exist mean that Dream will always have power over Tommy because Tommy will always think that Dream's after him to get them. So Tommy goes on to say that he trusts Wilbur. He drops both of the discs, and that if Dream doesn't show up in the prison within two minutes, he wants Wilbur to drop the discs back to him. They head to the prison portal inside of the nether and break inside. They teleport inside of the actual prison, and Tommy goes around the corner to set off the alarm. And as the sirens go off, Dream runs around the corner, questioning what the two of them are doing in his home. Wilbur and Tommy both look confused, as Dream turns off the nether portal, making Tommy and Wilbur trapped inside. Tommy asks Wilbur if he has a flint and steel, in which Wilbur looks in his inventory and says no, even though he blatantly does have a flint and steel and hovered his mouse over it. Tommy attacks Dream, telling him to get inside of his prison cell or else, but Wilbur tells him to back off as Dream is way more geared than both of them. Wilbur tells Tommy that Dream won't listen to him if he just says to get back inside of the prison, and that the only thing that Dream will listen to is something to do with the disc.
discs. Wilbur turns to Dream and says that if he doesn't do exactly what he says, he will kill himself with a lava bucket. Tommy and Dream both seem confused, mentioning how this wasn't a part of the plan. But Wilbur tells Tommy that all Dream wants is power, and that because he revived Wilbur, he would be forever in his debt, this giving a reason for Dream not wanting Wilbur to die. He threatens Dream, asking if he thinks he's bluffing and setting the lava down for a second, in which Tommy and Dream both rush to place water down to protect Wilbur. Wilbur tells Dream he only has a couple of demands, and drops a book for Dream to write this in. I, I want you to write this in the book. Are you listening? From the very start, Le Manberg was always a sovereign nation. Oh, oh! And so if I don't, you're going to kill yourself. Yep. You, you, you go on. If, if it doesn't what? matter to you, then don't do it. If my life doesn't matter, then don't do it. But I know you, Dream. I understand you. Tommy, please step away from where I'm going to put the lava. And Wilbur was a leader through legitimacy. You, th you think this means anything? Me, me writing in a book after however long? It means something to me. And I, Dream, was and always will be a terrorist to Le Manberg. If you don't sign that book and write it legitimately, I'm right clicking this lava. And if you try and put water on it, I'm doing another one. And if you put water on it, I'm doing another one. But Dream, I don't think you have enough fucking water. And once Dream writes in it, they place the book inside of an ender chest and move on to the next demand. Wilbur drops a lava bucket to Dream and then drops both of Tommy's discs and tells Dream to destroy them. Tommy gets angry with Wilbur, shouting at him that this wasn't a part of the plan. But Wilbur keeps repeating that if Tommy doesn't get back, he will kill himself with the lava. Will what? what? I what need the fuck? destroy the discs. Now. Will, what the fuck? Tommy, step the fuck back or I kill Will, myself. Tommy, fuck? step back or I kill Why myself. Step this? back Why now. Step back now. Dream, place the lava and destroy the discs. What if I what, what if I pocket them? I just, uh, you have literally 20 seconds. I'm saying a timer now. You have 20 seconds to destroy the disc right now in front you're not, of me. Wait, you're bluffing. You're bluffing. I'm doing it. Ready? I'm you're going bluffing. to kill myself in. Call my bluff, you? motherfucker. Call my Tommy. Step back or I do it. If either of you, if either of you interrupt this process, if either the timer is set, you want to call my bluff. If either of you interrupt this process, I'm doing it. You have 17, 16, 15, 14. Wilbur gives Dream 20 seconds to destroy the discs or he will kill himself, which neither Tommy or Dream want to do. Dream knows that the discs give him power over Tommy, and destroying them would ruin everything. The timer reaches one second, and Dream chucks both of the discs inside of the lava. One! <laughs> zero! Wilbur tells Dream that he has no power over him or Tommy now, and that he should just go back into his home and leave them alone. Tommy is confused, angry, and shouting at Wilbur for what he's just done. But Wilbur tells him to follow him, and asks if he remembers when he asked Tommy to trust him. They head towards the community house, as Tommy continues to shout at him, and once they arrive, Wilbur retrieves the real discs out of an ender chest and drops them to Tommy. He tells Tommy that now because Dream thinks the real discs are gone, Dream won't have any power over him, and he won't ever have to worry about Dream ever again as long as Dream believes the real discs are gone. Tommy asks why he wasn't informed about this plan, but Wilbur explains that the reaction had to be real or else Dream wouldn't believe it, in which Tommy responds saying thank you, and the stream ends. If you enjoyed this video, please check out the video which is on screen right now. I'm sure you'll enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next one.